What is up, Boo Crew? I am back with a super, super cool video. I just saw this on Facebook just a little bit ago. I think it's pretty much a brand new post. I think it is one of the coolest um, alleged ghost videos I've ever seen. And as soon as I saw it, I wanted to post it on the PC Facebook page. But I thought, you know what? This deserves a lot more than text. I've got to make a video on this. I've got to comment on this because I think this video is going to blow up. And I think it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this video and then we're going to get into the analysis of it and I'm going to tell you whether or not this is really truly a ghost. So here's the video author and here's the original post that goes along with this video that you're going to see in just a couple of minutes here. Um, I'll give you just a second to read that. You maybe want to pause it or whatever. The original video author believes that they have captured the spirit of a horse, a deceased horse, in a security camera footage video. So that's what we're about to check out. So here's the original video. All I did was screen record it um, and also has the author's name up in the corner. I definitely want to give them credit. So here we go. It's playing. Pay careful attention to this. I'm going to show it to you. Uh, the way I watched it. I'm not going to try to zoom in yet, but we'll get there. I'll zoom it in in just a second. So check this out. Let's watch that clip again, this time zoomed in just a little. Zoomed in again, this time with the horse in the center of the screen. Okie dokie, so hopefully you got a good look at it. Uh, first thing I want to start with, let's make some observations about this video. So the very first thing that I noticed, obviously, this is security camera footage, like I said before. Um, the second thing, there's a lot of orbs, and I'm using air quotes right now when I say that. A lot of people in the comment section were quick to point out spirit orbs, but we all know those are not paranormal. They're bugs. In this particular instance, they are definitely bugs. Um, I'm assuming there's like a porch light or some type of light there that's attracting them. And for the record, that is absolutely not what we're seeing in the pasture, in the background. That's not an orb. It's not a bug. Uh, so just completely ignore those. The third observation. The video was most definitely captured while it was dark out. The timestamp on the camera, I know you can't see it right now probably, but the timestamp says 6.53 December 9th, and we don't know if that's 6.53 a.m. or p.m. Either way, it does not matter because this time of the year, it would be dark. Um, and then the fourth observation is the most important observation at this point, which backs up observation number three. The person in the video, which I'm assuming is the veterinarian, is carrying a light source, which makes sense because if it's dark out, he's going to need some type of light to go out and, you know, do whatever business he has there. Now we get into the most important observations in the video. I'm going to tell you exactly what we're seeing here because it's easy to miss if you're just watching it through a couple of times. So the first thing we notice is that the light changes. I don't know if they switched on a porch light or a flood light or something on the back of their house. Um, and as soon as the light changes, we get a zoom in. And then the camera tilts. And this is where the problem with this video begins. Now remember that this person is wearing some type of light source on their jacket. Watch when the camera tilts. Keep your eye on that light source. You'll see in this zoomed in clip that I've also put into slow motion that what looks like the face, the maybe white face of the horse actually moves with the pan of the camera. So this is very telling in this piece of footage and this makes me think this is not actually a ghost. First of all, it's important to note that 
infrared technology, whether it's true infrared or just night vision infrared, which we've talked about on the channel before. If you don't know what I mean, go back and watch some of those older videos. But the big thing is it's meant to see in the dark. So when you have a big, bright, focused blast of light come into frame with an infrared camera pointing at it, you're going to have a whole lot of problems. You're going to experience um, basically white out. You're going to experience glare. There's going to be like a whole plethora of anomalies just because, you know, it's not made to see in extreme bright focus light. So because of all this, and in this particular instance specifically, we have two major problems working against the footage, which is basically number one, at some point, the light in the video did change, which means somebody somewhere turned on some source of light. They would have had to because you can clearly see the camera re-expose what it's now picking up in frame. The second problem is as this person comes closer to the camera with that light source around their neck, that's going to start to blind the camera a little bit. So those are the two main problems that I have right here. And again, going back to this light moving with the pan of the camera, I, I do notice that the gate is a little bit different. So that's kind of interesting, but I don't think it's different enough for us to say that, you know, this is definitely a ghost horse running through the background. Um, and, you know, again, just because this light um, follows perfectly the pan of the camera, which tells me that the light source on this person is blinding the camera and causing some type of light reflection inside of the camera itself. And that's what's causing the camera to pick up this weird um, entity or, you know, animal shaped anomaly in the background. It's basically a reflection. Trust me, guys, nobody wants this to be a ghost horse more than me, okay? I really, really want it to be a ghost horse. And yes, there is maybe a 5% chance that it is, but I feel pretty confident in my analysis. You guys can let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Don't forget to click like and click subscribe and stick around for more spooky paranormal content. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, don't get eaten by dogman and don't get abducted by aliens.